Right, welcome back guys. And today we're back working on the Ornit. And um, the goal for today is to remove the exhaust, change the copper gaskets, this little, this little guy's here. Um, so yeah, remove them. As you can see, let me give you a quick look of what this is. It's basically a copper ring. Okay, so when you put the exhausts, when you remove the old gaskets in, place these ones in, when you tighten up the exhaust, it will crush this cylindrical ring will crush it and um, will form a seal so it's simple as that let me give you a quick run of the bike so you can see why the exhaust gases is being changed <laughs> Very clearly, has a massive uh, gasket um, leak. Massive, massive. It seems like it's only one of the um, collectors that is actually leaking. But um, I must admit, I am very scared of starting to work on this because the amount of rust and the corrosion on the actual. Um, bolts, nuts, the actual nuts, is quite bad. And let me just show you. You can see in there how bad those bolts are. Another one in there. One, two, three, four. And that is the scariest one. Right there. Right that one. Right in. Oh, excuse me. It's quite hard. That one quite. Right in there. And there's one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you have it guys, today's goal is to finish this exhaust and if possible, if everything goes to plan, start on the brake calipers. Um, as you seen last video, they are very corroded, uh, so we'll see if it can be saved or not. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please drop a like down on the video, um, comment with what you think. Um, I'm doing if it's good work if it's not good work um, I take any comments <laughs> but um, but yeah like the video subscribe to the channel and um, enjoy the video so just sit back and enjoy it <laughs>
so this is what we're fighting with at the moment. So basically, on that one, started pulling off the stud. And then, halfway through, we get the torch out. And then halfway through, it snapped the bolt. So we come to the second one, which is completely perished. It's not coming out. It's not gonna happen. Now this two. One snapped. The other one is just rounded. Just doesn't come out. Number five. Same thing, round it. And number six is the only one that actually came through. So, yeah. Hooray! Brand new studs everywhere. Let's see if I don't have to drill them out. smarter option take it out you gain so much more access you can clearly see what's the state of these bolts so, um, yeah exactly what I was scared of is exactly what is happening so we'll see what we can do about it coming from that pipe and um, as I believe that pipe goes to the pair valve so that big chunky thing in there um, and this can be deleted but that means that all of this is gonna come out as well as those pipes which is all completely corroded that's gonna be blocked off
several days later. tried it and uh, worked perfectly so let me just remove what I have attached to it just a second so as you can see this is a stud right it mangled on this side and this tool it's a chuck style stud remover and I just tried it on one of the studs that was broke and basically it will tighten up on going to the left um, and that is obvious the more you try to undo the stud or bolt that um, is stuck in there the more force this will apply and the more this will tighten up uh, not sure if you can see but um, yeah some thick in the in the in it basically insert it in the stud tightened up start feeling some resistance uh, just gonna use a pair of uh, large jaw pliers to hold it in place while I tighten it up so I grab some grip on the on the stud so let's try it out very easy just no just lost the grip on this one a difference in size. Let's give it a go. Open it as maximum as possible. Start closing it. Three eighths and this thing here. Adjustable spanner. And it actually says that you can use it with the impact gun. Let's 
try to do. Transfer it from half inch to three quarters. Crap. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, guys, welcome back. And um, just a quick update on the bike. Um, I've got one, two, three studs that haven't been able to remove. So, this is my last resource. Um, I don't have an actual welding machine or all I have is this little rod machine, stick machine they call it, there we go, and uh, this is my last resource before I have to drill, as you see, oh, there you go. there's one, and it's coming out slowly, there's the other one which I'm going to tack up, sorry light is not the best. And then there's one more in there. This one there. So, right, I'm gonna try to weld this one now and uh, see if I can get it out. So, just put it up here. Um, just to the battery is disconnected from the bike uh, while I'm doing this welding job. Uh, just get a suitable, suitable place to put the heart on. Uh, helmet. And gloves. So, wish me luck. I hope this works. Something gave and not surprising is the nut again. So I'm gonna keep trying. Just a second. I'm gonna keep trying, give it a few more tacks and um, see what I can get. I'll give you an update in just a minute. <laughs> Give it a bit more bins. Pull the clutch in. Why is it doing that? Because you're not you're not giving it throttle, and you're letting go of the clutch too fast. Be gentle. Why are you letting go of the clutch so fast? Be gentle. Go gentle, let it bite. Now stop. Very gentle, give it some throttle. <laughs> 